Hi everyone, my name is Ajit Pangarkar and welcome to eLearn Chat Management Consulting Tips 101. Today we're talking about the five operational concerns your learning efforts must address. You should know that I'm not your typical L&D practitioner. My background is first in business, more specifically as a chartered professional accountant with a depth of experience in a variety of L&D roles. Just like any other decision maker, I hold L&D accountable to meet business expectations. So my objective through this and future eLearn chat segments is to provide insight about how L&D must be held accountable from a strategic, operational, and financial perspective. In this segment, I'll address a common question L&D practitioners often ask me, and that is, how do I convince internal decision makers to support my learning proposal? The short answer is prove it'll make a business difference. But as you can appreciate, the long answer is more involved. But if, you're, if you really want to impress them, then address their five key operational concerns. Does this sound familiar? You design what you believe will be an excellent learning effort that will clearly drive results. You bring it back to your internal customer, a divisional operational manager. And then they ask you questions like, how much is this going to cost? Or how much time is this going to take? Even though they ask for your help, it feels like they changed their mind. Actually, this isn't the case. Decision makers must make diligent use and prudent choices of how to use their limited available resources. Here are some common questions to ask before getting started. First, what's the budget for training? They're paying for your solution, so you need this number well before developing any training solution. Too often, learning practitioners build the initiative quickly discovering it exceeds the manager's budget. Then, they try to adapt their initiative to the budget, ultimately losing the intended impact. Think of it this way. Would you run out and buy a Ferrari and then say, I don't have the money to pay for it? When you know what they have to spend, you can design a learning solution that fits. Next, how will you use the money? As I said earlier, operational managers must make best use of available resources, but they also want to be involved in how you'll use the money. Demonstrate to them how the money they give you will help their employees achieve precise objectives and ultimately achieve the department's performance goals. Carefully assess their needs working with them to determine the most appropriate methods to deliver training. But be sure to provide various options for them to choose from because this will help them be involved with the process. Knowing in advance what is financially acceptable for operations provides insight into building an appropriate and effective solution. Also, getting them involved ensures their support and approval. Third, how much time will employees need for training? Any time an employee is not working is downtime. So when developing options to deliver training, either maximize the downtime your training will cause, or a better option is to take advantage of planned downtime, even when you're considering implementing an e-learning solution. Do this and you get the support from operational managers and buy-in from staff. Fourth, what will employees take away from training? Operational managers send employees for training out of self-interest, and that's to improve operational performance. Be precise on the issues training will address and the skills it intends to improve. Finally, Answer, how will the department benefit from the training? Operational managers have immediate operational needs that align to long-term business expectations. Your training efforts should align employee performance with specific operational performance objectives. It'll take some time to recognize the performance relationships, but trust me, it'll be worth it. This will solidify your value in the minds of decision makers. These are the more relevant questions to prepare for, but it's not a complete list. Get out of your office and get to know your internal clients before they need you. Learn about their business and become their proactive business partner. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, 
then please subscribe to my LinkedIn Learning Courses. Or read my book, The Trainer's Balance Scorecard, a complete resource for linking learning to organizational strategy. That's available on Amazon. And please, follow me on Twitter. My handle is at BizLearningDude. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next eLearn Chat Management Consulting Tips 101.